guys welcome back to my channel via glow if you're new here my name is gloria and i'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and i resell clothes and shit so in today's video i'm going to be doing a ship with me um i have some sales going out from this weekend so first since i do resell on three different platforms i have 12 sales on poshmark six on ebay and four on mercari with a gross net of 534 dollars and then a 400 dollars roughly net profit so let's just jump right in we're going to start with poshmark because it is my favorite platform uh so the first thing to sell was actually these mizzen and main pants these are the baron trousers i want to say yeah the baron chino trim trousers now i recently just listed this like a day ago and then it sold so we love a very quick flip these were from a regular thrift store. Honestly, I just watched a YouTuber, which is so crazy, talk about how this brand is no longer a good sale anymore because a lot of people found out about it. And I thought that that was very odd only because <laughs> I've sold this brand two other times uh, prior to this and it was a little while ago. So when I saw these and I checked the sell through rate I saw that it was incredibly hot. So we're talking about 40 to $50 um, used, which I thought was insane. Um, and they only retail for $98. So when I saw his video, I'm like, that's very odd. So I guess it really just boils down to what you pick up and the style. So you have to be really mindful of that. And um, I went on and found the exact style because it is on the item. So that lets me know that it is a newer style. And I was really happy to see that it sold for a decent amount of money. So this one sold on Poshmark for $41. And you guys will see this in a recent uh, reseller vlog. It, it's been a while now, but I'll link it down below so you guys can see. But I did haul these on that particular vlog. And these sold for $41 and I paid $6.71. So I made a profit of $24.07. And I do think that that was a pretty good flip, honestly. Um, I initially listed it at $55 because I do have a 25% off automatic, you know, offer sent out to likers on Poshmark. So I knew that I wanted to get over $40 for them because that is pretty much where they were selling it. If you buy them, um, I guess, brand new, you could easily make $70 from it. So since mine were used, even though they're in a like new condition, I thought $40 was a great, you know, starting point to make a sale on. All right. So the next one is a new to me brand called Naked Wardrobe. I actually feel like I heard about this. Um, not from a reseller, but maybe on one of the girls that I watch that's for like lifestyle. Um, but this is just like a, like a cute little casual black dress. This doesn't retail for a lot. Maybe like, I want to say maybe about 70 or $80, but the sell through rate on it is pretty, pretty high, which I love. Um, of course this was a Benz pickup, so you already know how excited I am about those but this one didn't take too long to sell it got a lot of attention when i initially listed it um and honestly i think that <laughs> when you go about your pricing you have to really have a strategy because since i do start my items on poshmark so when i start my pricing i typically like to go off of uh, poshmarks but when i go to other platforms like mercari or ebay i kind of like to make sure that i'm pricing it right because we all know if you are a cross lister that items sell for different prices on different platforms so i wanted to make sure that i maximize how much i was going to make on this one so i did list it at i want to say 38 dollars on poshmark and this particular person actually sent me an offer before my bot got to them and i quickly accepted it because my offer was going to be a little bit lower so i think the offer was going to either be 28 or 30 dollars with discounted shipping so when they sent me the $30 offer, I immediately accepted it because I wanted to make sure that I actually made a pretty good profit on it. So I paid 99 cents for this and I made a profit of $23 and one penny on it. And since this was a Benz pickup and I actually just got this very recently from like my last haul. So it was a really quick flip. I actually have a few of those um, in this Ship With Me video and i really love that i like when i pick up something and it sells immediately i know that a lot of times you want to second guess yourself and think well maybe i priced it too low but 
if you've already done your price research, you just have a good item and you priced it accordingly and it's sold to the right buyer. So we love that. All right, so this is not really something that I'm too proud about. <laughs> uh, this is an Old Navy dress. I was listening to my favorite YouTuber, uh, well, my favorite reseller YouTuber, and um, it was Kaylee Elaine. I love her channel, but she did talk about um, Old Navy dresses, and honestly, I thought this was beautiful enough to pick up and beautiful enough to try out. I don't generally pick up Old Navy um, at the bands unless it's a specific item like the pixie pant, um, but other than that, I don't pick it up. It is a fast fashion brand, and I just feel like it's just it's too much of it. Um, so she recommended picking up larger sizes, um, definitely like that 2X and over. And I was like, you know what, let me test it out. And I, I did, and this one got a lot of attention on all platforms. And since I just talked to y'all about the pricing strategy, I made sure that I didn't price this high because Old Navy doesn't retail for a lot, so why would I price it, you know, high? So I think I priced it at about $15. And of course I was looking to get an offer for maybe 10 or $12 and I was gonna accept that. But um, it's sat and it's sat and it's sat. I eventually took it on a trip with me. Uh, it was like an improper trip to um, Houston. So I was like, let me just wear it myself. I popped on the screen. And I actually love the fit, but I didn't love it enough to keep it. So I just washed it and put it back on my rack but this one sold through an offer so i received a 12 dollar offer and i paid a dollar and 15 cents for it and i made a profit of seven dollars and 90 cents it's not terrible but let's just say i'm gonna be picking it up again i'm not really the biggest fan of old navy so every time i see it even if it is like a really good fabric or um a larger size i really second guess myself because i just don't want to have a lot of it in my closet it's a great filler brand, I'm sure, but I don't know. I just don't wanna have too much of it. All right, so the next one is actually a set. This is another item that I just picked up last week. The brand is called Cozy Earth. So y'all, first off, I remember hearing this brand because I do follow a lot of mommy resellers, mommy resellers, mommy YouTubers, excuse me. Um, and I seen one of them talking about it. I think she had a sponsorship. So I was like, you know what? Let me look into it. And then I saw the price. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> so um, I've never, you know, shopped. You already know I don't really shop um, for a full retail price anyways. But after I saw the pants in the bins, I was like, oh, let me see if I can find the top. And lo and behold, the top was there. And I was so happy because you don't really find too many sets inside uh, the beans like it's very rare that you can find a set so when I found both of these I was like oh of course I'm gonna go ahead and take it and um, of course I did more research once I got home and it was time to list and I was really happy with um, you know with what I saw because I was I was actually shocked this sells for a lot more than I thought it would for you know pre-owned items so if you got it brand new you can sell it for over a hundred dollars um because it retails for two hundred dollars a set like this was two somebody paid two hundred dollars for this y'all insane so i ended up trying to list mine accordingly and i listed it on poshmark i want to say for like how much did i list for i think 65 dollars because i wanted to sell it at about 40 to 50 dollars so I listed it at $65. Um, the comps on eBay looked a lot better than Poshmark, but I knew that my bot was gonna eventually send an offer on Poshmark, so I didn't wanna list it too low. Um, so I did list it kinda high. I got an immediate like, and my bot sends an offer within two minutes of somebody actually liking the item. So they immediately purchased it after the bot sent them the offer. And I was shocked because I was actually in the process of cross-listing it to um, eBay. I had just cross-listed it to Mercari and then they purchased it before I could even cross-list it to eBay. So it was a really fast flip. Um, so this one sold for $48 and I paid 99 cents for it. So I made a profit of $35.39, which I think is pretty damn good. Um, Cozy Earth is a pretty good brand. I believe it's because it's made out of like bamboo. And if you've ever worn like those really nice pajamas, like from Skims or like maybe a brand like this, 
it feels really good these are some cotton on jeans <laughs> so i actually sourced these it has to have been maybe about six months ago um it definitely was not a good pickup i can honestly tell y'all that i didn't start getting better at uh, picking up items until May and we're in September so that's very telling right um, I stopped picking up any and everything and this was an any and everything uh, pickup I picked this one up strictly off of style this was a 90s high waist stretch pair of jeans and they were size 32 so that was the main reason why I got them but um, they sat and they sat I even listed them accordingly maybe maybe too high honestly I probably have them just a smidge too high maybe starting at $25 because I would typically try to price my items at $25 so they can sell at about 18 to 20 but I think that I just you know I made a mistake <laughs> I made a mistake with picking this brand up because I had never sold it before and honestly I think at that time I was really going off of style cotton on is like a fast fashion brand and it the quality is decent but I don't think that it is worth um, paying close to retail for so I think that's the reason why it sat for as, lo as long as it did and honestly I don't pick it up anymore <laughs> this and this was a current style which is the crazy part this was a current style and it was a larger size and it still didn't do good so I decided that I won't be picking it up ever again but these actually sold for ten dollars somebody sent me an offer um, and I accepted it because I'm like these have been sitting for six months now so it's time to get them out the door so I did pay 90 cents for it thank God but I made a profit of six dollars and 15 cents after fees and cost of goods um, I just don't know if this is a brand for me I um, I don't know because if this is an item that is in style and it sold for ten dollars I can only imagine if I picked up something that wasn't in style and it wasn't a larger size so this was a larger size and it still didn't do great so just very telling there all right so these are some cobby trousers also sourced at the bands these are an older style I can tell by the tag the tag is a little bit dated but I picked them up because they were a size 12 and I find that you know not I don't even want to keep saying larger sizes but sizes that aren't uh, a small and extra small of anything is going to do a lot better so pick these up these are like a stretchy material and I feel like you know work wear office wear business career it sells pretty well so I wanted to go ahead and get it and these didn't take that long to sell maybe like two months I got them in July um, and I just love Kabi. Kabi is one of those brands that I almost always pick it up regardless. Um, now, if the style is a little old, then yeah, I'll probably leave it behind. But even if it's old and it's not like super dated, I'll take it home. <laughs> but if it's like just old, old and just crusty, I'm going to just leave it there. But this one actually sold for $24. I believe my bot sent them an offer and um i paid a dollar and one cents for it so i made a profit of 16 dollars and 17 cents off of this item and copy is just one of those brands that i want to say it's hard for me to leave behind but it's just a brand that performs really well for me so it's almost like why would i you know like i said i don't pick up every single thing but nine times out of ten i'm gonna pick up the brand when i see it all right this is a pretty bad buy this is a moth sweater this brand is actually sold at anthropology and that was really the reason why i got it <laughs> um i'm not really sure who's wearing ponchos but then again i could be upset because it sold for so little but this one um took a while to sell i think i got this like in december or november october one of them fall months and I just knew that I was going to get a lot for it because it's moth, it was sold in anthropology, all the fun things. But y'all, this girl sat and sat and sat. And I know for a fact it was probably because I overpriced it. I think I started it out at like $45. Um, this is when it's so hard sometimes to gauge whether you can overprice it to make room for an offer because I think I probably wanted to get about $30 for it. And um, so I priced it, you know, pretty high. And people probably were, you know, like, I'm not going <laughs> to even like that because it's too damn high. And, you know, it just, it got a like here and there, but it was relisted so many times. So, um, I think after a while, I started to just lower the price 
and I think I must have either had it at 18. I ended up sending them a $13 offer, it looks like through Tasha Vie, of course, and I paid a dollar and 82 cents for this, so I only made a profit of six dollars and 21 cents. Don't want this box. I don't know if I want this box. So yeah, now I'm pretty picky with moth. I don't pick it up just to pick it up anymore. It has to be something going for it. And maybe, you know, it could have been just a poncho style. Nobody is really wearing ponchos. But it also could have been like, maybe I just picked it up at the wrong time. I had a price too high. It's so many different things that can go into why your item doesn't sell. So I think mine was definitely priced too high. But you know, you live and you learn. So I know next time I will in fact check the sell through rate, not just the comps, because I think I must have just like, oh, it's moth, let me just take it. So this is a Free People Thermal Top. I have sold so many of these, it's not even funny. This one sat for a little bit um, and it finally sold. <laughs> so we love that. Of course, I think I picked this up over the summer and that's probably why it sat for as long as it did, but you know, you find things out of season, you know for a fact they're gonna come back in season. And these, honestly, are all over the place for me. So some of them sell for a decent amount, some of them sell pretty low. This one sold pretty low, but I was happy to accept the offer because I wanted to get it out. And since it was, in fact, a band's pickup, there's no love lost there. So definitely a good filler item. What's so crazy is that I remember um, I was able to sell this exact one over a year ago on eBay for like a good 25 or $30. So that just lets you know that some items just kind of lose that spark. And this one definitely lost its spark. <laughs> um, but this one sold for $10 and I paid $1.20 for it. And I made a measly profit of $5.85, which is pretty tragic I try to keep it at about a good ten dollars um, roughly give or take maybe eight eight to ten I do have my bot um, stop in the offer if I don't make a profit more than eight dollars so that's how I know that this was definitely a um, offer that was sent to me and I accepted it I've recently stopped like holding it near and dear to items and brands because I know free people I used to feel that way was like it's free people I'm not going to get less than this amount for it and then I'll be sitting on it forever so I didn't mind letting it go this one was also a bad pickup um this is a brand called Sharon Young I just saw the brand and I think at the time again I just checked the the comps not the sell through rate and I was like oh the brand sells so let me just pick it up and I don't know what I was thinking. And I probably even priced it too high as well, honestly. Um, but I think this was silk, I want to say. But yeah, so this one actually sold. Um, I think I sent them an offer. Well, when I say I sent them an offer, I really mean Papa VA. But they received an offer, and I believe that they went on and accepted it. Um, this one actually sold for $19. Let me actually do this a little bit better than that. <laughs> so yeah, this one sold for $19, and I paid a dollar and six cents for it so I made a profit of 14 14 so if you guys are new here I actually like to average out my cost of goods when I go to the bins so a lot of the times I'll go and I will pick up let's say I don't know 50 items and then I'll pay $25 for them or whatever and um, I will just level it out on how much I actually you know paid per item I know a lot of people like do the they weigh it out and then they say oh this is how much I paid for this item but that's just that's doing entirely too much so I just you know add it up and divide it by how many pieces and all the fun things and it gives me that cost of goods and it's pretty low for the most part and that's pretty much where I have transitioned my business is to have lower cost of goods this is a gap dress I have been picking up this brand when it comes to their dresses lately i've been trying out their denim again because at one point i stopped because it was taking forever to sell but i think this brand just in general takes a little while to sell unless you have a dress and the reason why i got this one it just has different factors to it it is a large size the color is perfect for fall and it's tiered so that was the reason why i got this one and i knew it was going to sell 
So this one sold for $21, which was an offer to Likers. And I paid a dollar and one cents for it. And I made a profit of $13.77. Sorry, y'all, my camera overheated. <laughs> We're back. Um, anyway, so this is a Levi's pair of curvy skinny jeans. Um, I picked these up just because they were a larger size. And again, larger sizes are going to perform a little bit better and they won't take as long to sell. Um, I don't generally pick up all Levi's, but since this was a curvy um, and it was in the, the label and it was a size 31, that really prompted me to go ahead and um, take them. So I did. I know skinny jeans are in fact out, but us millennials are still wearing them. So I do believe uh, my bot sent them an offer because the price point. So these must have been listed at $21, excuse me, $28. And um, my bot sent them a $21 offer with discounted shipping. So when I do do discounted shipping, I only do it for uh, $5.95. So I try to maximize my profit and keep that $1. <laughs> so um, yeah, so this one sold and this one sold for $21 and I paid a good old dollar for it at the bins. And I made a profit of $13.78 which I do think is a pretty good flip. Um, so yeah, I try not to pick up, you know, all Levi's. I try to stick to maybe like the Wedgie, the Mile High, just those current styles, but I wouldn't pick those up at regular thrift stores. So the last thing to sell on Poshmark was this Bella doll flannel. This was a Ben's pickup. I know at one point I said I was gonna stop picking this brand up just because I had a bad experience on one item and um yeah so i think when things like that happen you just kind of gotta make sure you are checking your you know comps and the sell-through rate i think for that item i didn't check either one of those <laughs> i just assume like oh this one retails for a lot i'll be able to sell it for a lot and that's not always the case so always check those things and you won't be upset about it <laughs> so that's just what i do now i check the the comp sell through rate but this brand typically only sells for about 20 to 25 dollars uh for me personally i've only been able to sell their chambray top so this is my first time finding a flannel and this was probably the best time to list it because we are in the season and i was pretty happy about uh this sale i believe they sent me an offer i really like when people send me an offer instead of my box sending them one because i do get to save and I do believe that the bot was going to send them a much lower offer. It had to be maybe about $18 in discounted shipping. So since they sent me the offer for $20, I, you know, quickly accepted it. So I did pay $1.47 for this. And I made a profit of $14.53 after fees and cost of goods, which I do think is pretty damn good. I'm really trying to cram this in here. I didn't make it small enough to fit. So there we go. These poly mailers are not that bad. All right, so we're gonna move on to Mercari. Uh, this first one is just a Free People's like tank top. I thought this looked really boho, very cottage core vibes. It's so lacy and all the fun things, kind of meshy, and it was a size large. So I thought that was just gonna do great within itself. I was a bit nervous only because we are, you know, moving out of the summertime, but Free People is just one of those brands where it's just, Sometimes it is hard to leave behind, but if I see a size large, that that's coming home with me every single time. So I went on and uh, got this one. This actually didn't take that long to sell. I believe I sourced this maybe like two weeks ago, I wanna say, and um, it sold on Mercari. And Mercari has just not been the best performer this month, I've been noticing, or last month. It's just like taking a, like a steep decline but I have this one listed at 32, which honestly, it was a little too high for a tank top, but it was the size. I priced it off of the size and um, somebody sent me a $26 offer and I accepted it and I only paid 99 cents for it. So I made a profit of $21.03 on this item, which I think is pretty damn good for a free people's item nowadays. The next one is another free people top uh this is actually just like a really cute blouse also picked at the bins and um i don't know you already know 
Free People is just one of those brands that is hard to leave behind, like I just said. <laughs> but if it has like something going for it, I'd say pick it up. Um, you could really check the sell-through rate and all of that, but for the most part, I'm gonna pick it up because somebody's gonna want it. So somebody sent me a $22 offer and I paid a dollar and one cents for it. So I made a profit of $17.51. Y'all, my camera is just overheating. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take another little quick break. So there's that. So my first pair of shoes sold in a very long time. Um, I have completely just stopped. I don't even pick up shoes anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the bins because you just never know. But shoes just do not excite me. I don't like having to clean them up. I don't like anything about shoes. They're just not my gear. I literally have one tote, like a small tote full of shoes. And I don't plan on getting any more. But these are just a pair of Crocs. These are like a Mary Jane style. I do believe this is like a suede leather. And these were from the bins. And I picked these up because they were in a really good condition. And then I looked inside of them and it's just like a, a lot of toe jam, which is really disgusting. So I um, ended up spraying like this Lysol on it just to kind of loosen the dirt up. And that, that's exactly what I'm saying. This is why I don't pick up shoes because like that's really disgusting. The shoes on the outside, you wouldn't even think that anybody wore them. But when you look on the inside, like actually look at them, it's really disgusting. So... That's why I don't like shoes because I don't want to clean them up, honestly and truly. It's just not my, my thing. I like the lowest of maintenance items and shoes are not. So, no thanks. So, these actually sold for $20. Um, I was having a really rough month on, <laughs> on Mercari. So, I sent out some pretty decent offers. I want to say maybe at least about 35% off. So, I'm using these really big poly mailers because I ran out of shipping supplies for you know mercari and ebay so here we are using this <laughs> but it's okay because it's like a summer you know style and summer is almost ending anyways so this sold for twenty dollars and i paid a dollar and 31 cents for it so i made a net profit of fifteen dollars and forty cents which is not too bad but you know it could be better um so the last thing to sell on mercari was this Brooks Brothers blazer. This was a Ben's pickup and I was actually really happy to find this because I think prior to finding it, I actually saw a Kaylee Elaine, uh, like I think she was doing um, like a what sold video and she talked about this brand and their blazers and you know, I just happened to find it. So I checked comps and the comps look great. So I was like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. And um, I listed it kind of high. I mean, you know, just you got to be smart, you know. So I did list it pretty high. And um, of course, it sat for a little while. I think this one sat maybe about two months. And um, I lowered the price. And I lowered it, I want to say, to $85 because I think I had it like maybe at $125 or something like that. Because, again, I was trying to account for offers. It really does kind of skew, you know what somebody is willing to pay for it. But somebody sent me an offer on Mercari, which was the lowest price that they could. I believe it's 25% off on Mercari. So they sent me a $68 offer. And since this was in fact a bin pickup, I was like, of course, <laughs> it's yours. Um, it wasn't something that was near and dear to my heart. I noticed that I had to have the price too high because on eBay, it was 18 views with no watchers. So that is very telling. Um, that's how you know your item is priced just too damn high. <laughs> okay, so this one sold for $68. Like I said, they sent me an offer and I only paid a whopping 89 cents for it at the bins. So I made a profit of $57.46 after fees and cost of goods, which I think is pretty damn good. And these are kind of like one-offs, honestly. <laughs> I don't come across a lot of items that I'll be able to sell for over, you know, 60 bucks all the time. But when I do, they sure do perform. All right, so now we're going to move on to eBay. Um, I know that a lot of resellers on YouTube are complaining about eBay. 
y'all need to stop okay but it's entertaining to watch so don't stop <laughs> all right so the next one is from a brand called jaded gypsy this was a pretty fun find um i'm actually happy that i did pick it back up because i looked at it and then i sat it back down and thank god i picked it back up because the comps on this brand is really really good um you can pause this video right now and go to ebay and look up jaded gypsy and look at those comps y'all it's crazy um so since i am not a girly that is attached to her items not that much anymore uh i didn't price this high now i know i could have priced it high and kind of mimicked all of the sold comps but i wanted to stay true to where i'm at in my business and that is not overpricing um, everything anymore um, because i would prefer a quick flip versus a slow sale so i went on and priced this accordingly on all platforms of course like i said i make room for offers on poshmark and um for ebay i actually price it at my lowest amount because i want to you know get it out the door so ironically enough the comps on ebay were really good so this one got immediate attention on ebay and i knew it was going to sell you know pretty quickly but i didn't think it was going to sell this quick so this one sold in under a week um so i was really happy with that so this was just hauled and um it sold for 31.99 i did send out 20 percent offers just because this weekend was just a little bit slower for me on ebay um i would typically get about a good 10 to 12 sales on the weekend from ebay but i didn't um so i wanted to zhuzh up a little bit more business so i went on and sent out 20 percent on the people that had liked the items so like i said it sold for 31.99 and i paid 99 cents for it so I made a profit of $27.22. Let me know down below if you ever found the brand Jaded Gypsy because I feel like it's a bolo brand. All right, this is a brand called Harold's. Um, I believe it is a vintage brand. I only picked this one up because it was giving very much so dark academia and y'all, it was goat suede. Um, I'm not really here for killing the animals, but this shit is soft. <laughs> Um, it's so soft and I feel like skirts are kind of having their moment at this time and I thought this one would do really well and this one didn't sit for as long as I thought it was going to sit for but it eventually sold. I believe this also sold through an offer to Likers. Um, like I said, I've been sending out offers a little bit more frequently on eBay before. I did it. <laughs> uh, people just kind of buy it at full asking price or I'll wait until you know the weekend or you know whichever week i decide to lower my prices but this one sold through an offer at 21.58 and i paid 91 cents for it so i made a profit of 18 dollars and 41 cents after fees and cost of goods which is not not that bad you know um ideally if i can have all of the items from here on out um make me a profit of 18 and over i would be ecstatic but we are not there yet we are still trying to phase out all of our older items this is a brand called adolfo i remember recently hauling this um maybe like i want to say maybe a month ago <laughs> or less it could have been less i can't remember um but i talked about this brand and somebody in the comments told me that this was a kind of like a pretty high retail brand uh back in the day but you know nobody really cares about it anymore but i picked it up because these are in right now these knit tops so i thought somebody would love it the colorway was really nice and it was giving kind of like you know old money hampton vibe so i got it and this one sold for 11.98 and i paid a dollar for it and i made a profit of 9.82 i don't really think i would have got that much for it because i did check the comps on all platforms and they were all pretty low so i wanted to price mine accordingly so i did price it um at you know twelve dollars and that's what it sold for all right so these are some athleta little girls like camo leggings um i pick up kids clothing i know a lot of people don't but i do think that you know these type of items are pretty good fillers as well so i picked them up and i have been having a lot of luck with all of my athleta little girls clothing which is I didn't think that I, you know, would because Athleta has really slowed down for me, but 
as far as you know the little girls clothing and the sweaters and the, the tops and stuff they've been selling now they don't sell for more than 10 to 15 dollars but that's pretty much the price point that i assumed that they would sell for anyways so i think it's a, a pretty good pickup and i would most likely pick it up again <laughs> So this actually sold for $12.99 and I purchased it for $1.47 at the bins and I made a profit of $10.12. Y'all, I'm so sad I gotta use this big ass poly mailer. This is so ghetto, but yeah. So this is a pretty good uh, pickup and a pretty quick flip because I think I just uh, picked these up this month. So we love that all right so this is a zara like kimono robe i don't know if this was like a blogger favorite at one point but the comps were quite literally all over the place i saw um a few sell for 30 some sold for 40 um and most of the zara blazers were between that you know 30 to 100 mark on poshmark but i wanted to find this one specifically I literally just listed this and it had got three likes on Poshmark immediately, like absolutely immediately. And then soon after, um, of course my bot sent all three of them an offer. No one accepted it. Somebody on um, eBay also liked it immediately. So then I was like, you know what? Let me just try my luck. I send automatic offers on Poshmark. Let me go ahead and try, you know, eBay. And I did that and they accepted it. So I was really happy about that. So. This would end up selling for $27.99 and I paid $0.99 cents for it. This was something that I just recently hauled and I made a profit of $23.81 and I'm actually really happy about that because I truly, truly, truly feel like Zara is one of those brands where you really have to know what to pick up and what not to. I feel like I've picked up just about everything. <laughs> Um, and it all does decently. I don't make like top dollar for it, but it is a brand that I do look into when I find it at the bins. I don't really care for it at a thrift store, but at the bins, I always look more into it. All right, and then lastly is this J. Crew knit blazer. This was really popular like a good year and a half ago, so I was excited to find it again. Um, the first one I picked up was like, I want to say it was a brown one and it sold for like $40, but that was a while ago but um i did check comps and it was still performing really well but this was an extra extra small so i knew that i had to price it accordingly because it wasn't gonna you know sell for that much but it's still going for a lot knit blazers are really in y'all so if you find them pick them up okay pick them up so this one sold for 23.19 i paid 98 cents for it and i made a profit of 19.55 so we love to see it. Let me know if y'all pick up knit blazers from J. Crew. I think J. Crew is just that brand that you should always look out for, no matter what. Just performs pretty well. Since this is the last item, I am gonna talk to y'all later. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe because if you made it this far, you clearly like my channel. So go ahead and subscribe and stop playing. Thank you.